thanks to technology, improved technology, more and more companies are using virtual global teams, uh, maybe for R&D or project uh, management um, teams to work on particular projects and the like. There are certain advantages. Um, one, of course, is cost advantage because you don't have to fly people to other countries to get them to work together. You also ha can tap into the diversity that's available through those global teams. You have diversity of cultures, diversity of experiences, and by having them communicate amongst each other, oftentimes you do come up with more creative solutions to problems. Um, you also, that's also a way to get closer to your different markets around the world, so you have a better understanding of the needs of those different marketplaces. Some of the challenges of working with global virtual teams, though, um, one of the big challenges is that diversity. Even though it's an advantage, it also is a disadvantage in that it takes longer to get things done. Um, there are communication barriers to overcome. There are different learning styles. So, And when you don't have that face-to-face -face communication, it's sometimes easier for miscommunication to occur. <laughs>